Hello and welcome to more Vintage Cube Draft. What do we got in this pack? Well, we got two exciting cards and they're probably not what you are going for. Um, it's Time Twister and Remand. I think those are the two cards I would first pick. I know a lot of people love Crater Huff. I try to stay out of green. Um, Chandra is actually very good. I'm more impressed with Chandra the more I play with her. Karn is okay. Um, I think Nickel Bola should just not even be in the cube. I don't even know if it's good enough for like modern cube, let alone legacy or vintage cube. Um, I don't know what to take. Time Twister is so fun, but Remand is just good. And I mean, yeah, that says everything you need to know about them. There is Thousand Year Storm Time Twister. It is really fun, but I think I'm going to take Remand here. I uh, Is there any chance Time Twister wheels? Probably not. We'll take Time Twister. Got him with the debate. And now I'm actually kind of sad because now I get past Factor Fiction. So if I take a Remand, I could take Factor Fiction. And then I would have a good balance of interaction and card draw. Which is what you want, and that's why Remand is probably the correct pick, but uh, Time Twister is so fun. <laughs> I don't, you know, it's just hard to pass it up. So I could just take Time Twister, then take Factor Fiction, and then my deck will just be full of card draw, right? I have two cards that can draw up to four or five cards. So, I mean, if you draw five off Factor Fiction, something weird is going on. So we'll say at most four. Um, I think I am going to go that route, though. Um, I like Factor Fiction more than Mold Drifter in general just because it can draw more cards. And then not a whole lot is exciting to wheel from this pack. I like Brazen Borrower, Dead Protector. Phyrexian Revoker is completely underrated. This card is fantastic. It's just like you play it, you name a Planeswalker, it kills a Planeswalker, you name a Mox. It's like a two mana land destruction. It's really good. Um, you can actually name Deceiver Exarch and stop it. Like if you put Splinter Twin on Deceiver Exarch, Deceiver Exarch cannot use the activated ability, which is good. That's a third pick Mox Pearl. Don't really know what to say about that, other than I'm going to take it over Oko. This pack must have been absolutely absurd, because holy cow, I would love to see what was in this opening pack, because this is third pick Mox, and there's still Oko, Rafello's Wern Power Stone, Baleful Strix in the pack. I, okay, we're going to take the Mox. Sorry about my air conditioner, um, probably shouldn't even bring attention to it, but I, it's 115 degrees outside right now, um, Fahrenheit, so I, <laughs> I need AC. Uh, we're going to take... What am I going to take here? Treasure Cruise, Emrakul. Hmm. I think I might just go for an Emrakul. I guess another out is Imperial Recruiter, because you could easily go Twin with all this card draw, but I have enough card draw, although Factor Fiction into Treasure Cruise is pretty fun too. You know what? Yeah, Factor Fiction into Treasure Cruise. Let's do that. I'm on board with that. Um, then what do we want? Ancient Grudge, Empty the Warrens, Hangerback Walker. This is actually a really medium pack. I could speculate on a Land of War Elves. Um, I do have a lot of card draw, so going blue green is not crazy. I know I passed a Crater Hoof though, so like green being open is unlikely. I'm not sure what to take. I think I think I'm gonna speculate on the Elves. I think it's unlikely I get there, but. Oh, okay, I mean, this is looking pretty good. There's a Palancron, which is good with all the card draw. There's a Windswept Heath, which can help fix the mana. I could just take a Corsair. It's not often that I draw blue-green, but green is looking very open. Um, Tracker is really nice again, but I don't think I need it because I have all of this. So uh, it's Corsair, Windswept Heath. I think Corsair is really good with Fast Bond, which I guess is the card I'm hoping to get here. Wow. Okay, we are doing something. I mean, I don't think I need Harmonize, but holy cow, could I have some card draw in this deck? We could take Thrag Tusk, but I actually am a big fan of Repeal. I guess Manamorphose is the other option, just for like uh, color fixing, because something that can happen that's rough is um, you don't get the right colored mana. I'm just going to take Repeal though. I Again, Time Twister, Factor Fiction, and Treasure Cruise means Harmonize is not super necessary. All right, well, green is absurdly open, so I'm glad I picked up on that. And I could take Finale because it's good with Channel if I happen to get it. I could take Questing Beast just because it's a good four mana play. And then Stomping Ground... Uh, I don't think I'm going to take that, although I, I like having Splash Colors. I think I'm going to take Finale because this deck looks to be more of a top-end, like, combo deck with all this card draw that I have, but I, I could easily be proven wrong. Um, Crater Hoof is gone, so someone took Crater Hoof and then didn't really see much other green, so hopefully we're not fighting too hard. It's just, 
it's going around so heavily now. I'll take Regrowth. It is good with Time Twister. You can go off. There's Dent Protector. You know what would be really good for this deck is Time Walk. Because holy cow, can I cast Time Walk a lot of times. We're going to take Dent Protector. Um, just playing to have a sweet deck. Renin 6 versus Sower of Temptation. Uh, I, I like Renin 6. Like This would also be a good like fast land strip mine deck. Or uh, fast bond strip mine deck. So Renin 6 can give us that route. And Sower of Temptation is fine. It's pretty good. I'll take Sower. Yeah, okay. Green is where we're supposed to be. Which makes this Mox a little more disappointing. Because a lot of times in green decks, a Mox is just worse than a land. I think it's still great here because we do have Time Twister, Factor Fiction, and things like that. I, at this point, given how much mana we have, I almost wish I took Harmonize instead. Um, I'll take a Vraska over whatever. Halicron came around, okay. Light up the stage. I've never played Light up the stage, and I don't think I've seen it played against me. Hmm. A lot of good options here. This seems like a really good Plow Under deck. I have Regrowth Den Protector. I think Heartbeat of Spring is also quite tempting here. I have Palancron Heartbeat, but I'm hoping to wheel Heartbeat because of how open green was uh, in the last pack. And then I could probably deck myself pretty easily. I think I passed an opposition, which I regret, because this would be a very good opposition deck, but I was expecting green to not be open given that I passed a Crater Hoof, but I think the draft just went weirdly. Chromox, I think, is bad when you can just play, like, Llanowar Elves. So, yeah, we're going to take Plow Under. Hope Heartbeat of Spring comes around, but if not, Sanctum or Slime are both great cards, too. Okay. Oh, there's Emrakul. So if I get Channel, we can just go off. I am looking for Heartbeat of Spring. Yeah, I mean, someone's going to take Natural Order, but look, I'm here to have fun. And I honestly think Emrakul can be pretty good. Rafelos is gone as well. I'm taking Emrakul. We're going to get there. Don't even worry. Frantic Search. So... Okay, I can wheel Heartbeat of Spring and then Frantic Search also generates an obscene amount of mana. And I'm missing out on an Elgar Gargaroth, but that's not even... Like, it's probably going to come around anyway. So I think that's fine. Here, Jitae is interesting. I think Jitae is a fantastic card. I think it's so good. Gush is actually very good as well, but I think Gush might come around. Um, and the other consideration is Garrick Relentless. If I had a position, I would take this a bit more highly. I think I'm going to take Jitae. It's just so good against so many decks. Ooh, Turnabout? Strip mine! No! <laughs> ah! Why do they do this to me? I think this is a Turnabout deck. We have Emrakul and Finale, so like, I have two ways to get a ton of mana. Yeah, we're going to take Turnabout. Sorry, Strip mine. Memory Jar versus Cryptic Command. This is... Man, if I get Fast Bond, this deck is going to be so good. Um, Yeah, we're just... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna do that. Smuggler's Copter versus Yava Maya Elder. So there's so many cards that can make this deck 10 out of 10. Fast Bond would be amazing. Mind's Desire would be very good. Wheeling Heartbeat of Spring would be a. I think that's what we're planning for. Um, I guess that's most everything. So the Copter, I do have two Elves. I don't think I'm going to play Yava Maya Elder, but it would be good with the Copter. Horser, Frantic Search. I do have a Jitae as well. Yeah, we'll just take the Copter. Not really sure there. All right, deck. We need Heartbeat to spring so badly. Let's go. I think this is the pack that I should get it in. Come on. This timer's taking forever. Someone's deciding whether or not they ruin my dream of Heartbeat of Spring. But we can also get something fun like Mirari's Wake. I would play in this deck too with Mox Pearl. So it's not our only out. Getting High Tide would be very good as well. But, like, we can get infinite mana very, very easily with Palancron. Yes, we did it! Okay, deck's perfect. I can rest happy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this deck now. Uh, we have... Whoa, can I wheel Wasteland and Strip Mine? I mean, I'm gonna take it. There's no way Strip Mine comes around, right? We can take Baral. There's no way Strip Mine comes around. One can dream, though, because if we get Strip Mine and then Fast Bond then this deck is just going to be so disgusting. That looks like a no on the strip mine front. But this could be a good Eureka Palancron deck. So we, <laughs> the combo is you play Eureka, um, you put Palancron and Heartbeat of Spring into play. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love it. Um, we'll take a Thunder Maw, sure. 
It, like, honestly, this could be the first decent Eureka deck. Because for four mana, we could put into play... I guess I'll take Carnage Tyrant. We could put into play... Ooh, we even got last pick Yalva Mile there. We could put into play Emrakul, Memory Jar, uh, Palancron, and Heartbeat of Spring. In like... <laughs> That seems pretty good. We did it! We got fast spawn! Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, we gotta focus. This deck is getting disgusting. Tinker is actually... Tinker for Memory Jar or something, but... This is a good fast spawn deck. We have Time Twister, Factor Fiction, Memory Jar, Treasure Cruise. Yeah, we're gonna take that. Mana Leak is fun and all. I don't really know if I'm going to run Mox Pearl now. Probably not gonna run Wasteland because my colored mana situation is slightly awkward. But we have Fast Bond Courser, Fast Bond Yavamaya Elder, Jace. Oh no. Hmm. Nissa is insane in this deck. With Frantic Search, Turnabout, Palancron, we just play a Nissa, we just completely take over. She has a chance of wheeling. We got a last pick Yavamaya Elder. But I don't think it's worth it to get that greedy because I already have enough playables. Jace would be very good, right? I'm not going to complain about taking Jace. I think there's maybe a 30% chance Nissa comes around. But she's too good. I, I think I just have to take her here. Um, if our deck needed... <laughs> oh, okay. There's a high tide. I'm going to take Breeding Pool because high tide is actually not amazing. Like Nissa high tide is kind of an awkward combo. So we're going to take Breeding Pool because like if our deck was all Breeding Pools, high tide would be the nuts. And then if we wheel high tide, we could put in the deck. Um, what was I saying? Something about Nissa being really good, but then I got distracted by High Tide and Breeding Pool. Sorry. It's <laughs> this deck is looking really, really good. <laughs> Ooh, Phantasmal Image and a Hydroid Crisis. So Phantasmal Image Palancron is another infinite combo because basically Phantasmal Image, you play it, it copies Palancron, and then it gets the activated abilities of Palancron. So you spend two mana, and then it untaps a bunch of lands, and then you pay for it to return it to hand. So image can go infinite very, very quickly. Crisis, however, is really good in this deck because we have fast bond. We have a lot of ways to generate quick mana. So being able to refuel that is really, really tempting as well. And then it's just a huge threat. Like we can generate a ton of mana and then heartbeat of spring. Yeah, I think we have enough ways to go infinite with Palancron that I'm just going to take a, a versatile card for the deck over it. Probably not playing Baral. I don't think I need it. And right now I'm going to cut Sower because the rest of the deck is so good. I like Finale because we can get Palancron or Emrakul. And Finale for Crisis does give us Trample. Time Spiral! Oh my gosh. And there's a Mana Flare. Look, look. Sometimes you get a deck that is one in a million. This deck is one channel away from being a one in a million deck. I don't even know if I'm going to play the Copter now. 27, so I still need to make some cuts because I do actually want to run a high land count with Fast Bond because drawing lands is about all you would want. I'm probably not going to play Eureka. It's funny, but I don't need to. Oh, um, this is a very good upheaval deck. Upheaval Fast Bond? Okay. Not complaining there. We could maybe wheel Lumbering Falls or Noble Hierarch, but that's... Oh, it's so... Fast Bond upheaval is so good. So we can do something really cool, like fast bond, play a bunch of lands, then upheaval. <laughs> okay, all right, channel, sure. Okay, you got it, channel in the deck. Um, yeah, this is a deck of magic cards. <laughs> what was that, seventh pick channel or something? I mean, I hate on the card too, like it's a meme. Sometimes, but holy cow, green is open. We'll take Mind Slaver for who knows, whatever reason. Um, we'll take Tristani because it can protect us against bribery, I guess. So this was the Jason Mind Sculptor pack. Never really expected to wheel it. We'll take Lantax. We even got High Tide. I don't even know if I need High Tide at this point. Um, do I have any white cards for Razor Verge Thicket? I... I don't think I'm playing High Tide. I love the card, it would be really good, but our deck's so good that I just don't need it. I'm gonna take Razor Verge Thicket on the off chance that I need to bring in a white card, like Moat. Yeah, I'm not playing any of those. Sure, we'll take Moat. Um, Stirring Wildwood as well. All right, if I need white, I have white now. This deck is unbelievably good. Um, I even got Lumbering Falls too. I'm like very tempted to not play this Mox Pearl, but 
That seems crazy. <laughs> this deck is... Oh my gosh. Um, I could get rid of Kozilek because it's a dead draw a lot of the time and Emrakul is just going to be better. And now that I have upheaval, I have like so many ways to win that it doesn't really matter. Um, I guess upheaval is just like the world's best plow under. And then I could get rid of... I don't think this deck really needs regrowth. Yeah, I don't think it needs regrowth. Although Treasure Cruise... Let me think about this. Am I actually going to cast Treasure Cruise very often? I'm not going to have many cards in my graveyard. I guess Memory Jar and Factor Fiction can help. Wow, this deck is definitely something. I mean... Yeah, I think I'm definitely playing 17 land because Fast Bond, um, Frantic Search, Turnabout required a lot of lands, Time Spiral wants a lot of lands, same with Palancron, and Nissa and Krasis. I don't even know if I need Jite. Like, I probably would rather just have a directly impactful card. I really could put Eureka in the deck, but that seems too memeful. So we'll just put Kozilek back. I think this deck can work with Kozilek. And then it's... Oh, it's so good. Yeah, wait, no, yeah. Cutting Kozilek makes no sense when you have channel in your deck. What am I? <laughs> I don't, don't listen to me. The deck is unbelievably strong. We even get the nice 7-7 seven, seven split. Uh, I think I'm going to add one forest just to maximize my chances of an early channel. But this is, this might be, ugh, I don't even know. This deck is absurd. I, I'm, I forgot I had channel. Do I want Mind Slaver with that? I'm trying to see if there's any better card to cut. I kind of like Yalvamaya Elder with Fast Bond because like it pays for its own activation. Um, because you pay two, you get two lands, you put them into play, and you get to draw a card. I guess I'm wondering, do I need Den Protector? So Den Protector upheaval can go infinite, right? You can keep bouncing Den Protector and then replaying things. I have no counter magic, so that's something to consider. But maybe something like Baral is better. No, Dead Protector gives me redundancy. 16 land Mox Pearl. I really kind of don't want to put Mox Pearl. Like, there's a lot of situations where I would prefer to have a forest. I'm going to think about Mox Pearl. I think it's probably going to stay in the deck. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 green sources. So double green, especially with the turn 1 Mystic or Elves, is pretty likely for a channel. I've decided to stay with Mox Pearl. I cut another island for a forest, and I might even cut one more because I'm not going to be casting turnabout unless, you know, I'm going off. So I don't really need double blue there. Um, same with all of these. I don't really need double blue unless I'm going off. So I can go down to, this would be one, two, three, four, five, six blue sources, uh, seven with Yavimaya Elder. And that just maximizes my early green. And then I have one, two, three... Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, 11's fine, actually. We're going to run it like this. And we can bring in Jitai and Copter if we need to, and Sower and Plow Under and Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> um, we'll see you guys round one. Oh, right, we were playing against Elif from Mo... I don't know how to say that. We're going first, though. Um, so this hand is actually not amazing. We have Mystic, but then I can Frantic Search pretty quickly, so... I think I'm going to keep it because Frantic Search can do a lot. Um, and I don't really care too much about card disadvantage. We're also going to go with turn one Elvish Mystic. Um, because if I draw an island, then I can Frantic Search. Don't have to worry about Lumbering Pulse stuff. Fast Bond. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's cast Fast Bond. Play Lumbering Falls. Attack them for one. And then, well, draw some card draw, I guess. Time Twister would be good. Baffle Strix is cool. Um, they're tapped out. We drew Memory Jar. So let's go ahead and Frantic Search. I need blue. I don't get the all of the mana cast back, which is unfortunate, but we just want to hit lands at this point. Okay, so we're going to discard Palancron, and I don't really want to discard a Hydroid Crisis. One, two, three. But I already have Memory Jar, so let's discard Crisis. Untap these. Super unfortunate that I don't get to play a memory jar here. That's okay. We're gonna pass turn. I don't want to play the extra land because um, you just take more damage off fast bond. <laughs> oh my god, I hate that card. Narset is so good against this deck. 
Oh boy. All right, they get high tide? What are they doing over there? I'm gonna get hit by my own medicine. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Well, we get Nissa, which is very good. We'll play Nissa. Nissa is going to... Hmm. Untap a land and put counters on it, and that's going to be a forest. I can attack Narset. Man, there, that was a good sequence from them, because I could have killed Narset here. I think I'm going to say no. We can kill Narset next turn. Um, this just gives me the mana. High Tide also looks kind of awkward in their deck, and they whiffed on Narset? Wait. Yeah. Interesting. So, even if they do Time Twister me, that's not the worst. I mean, it would be bad. Brawl into Time Twister? Please no. I can kill Nissa as it currently stands. Okay. Okay, we're doing something. <laughs> um, okay. That's pretty good. Um, part of me wants to just cast Channel. Because then I can Memory Jar. Hmm. This is looking quite tempting. So, let's just cast Memory Jar, I think. And then we're going to swing at Narset with everything. We lose our Elvish Mystic to Brawl. If they have a kill spell, that would actually be not the greatest thing in the world. But still something we need to do. Yeah, let's cast Memory Jar. And this is going to turn this into a creature. Attack Narset with everything. So it's like a go for the throat on a forest or bust, really. Which would be unfortunate. Okay, Narset's down. Perfect. Um, do I think they can win from here? That's the question, because I can cast Channel and then have Memory Jar Fast Bond available. That seems pretty good, actually. Let's just go for this. Cast Channel. I don't want to let them untap if I don't have to. Okay. Crack Memory Jar. <laughs> I didn't draw a single land. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's actually funny. I mean, it's a good thing I used Channel, but that is insane. I don't know why this is hiding behind Memory Jar, but we're going to cast this big boy. Three, two, one. So hopefully this draws me land. Alright, there's a land. I have turnabout. <laughs> I cannot believe how few lands I hit. That is unrealistic. Um, We can go forest into... <sighs> I just need to hit two lands here. I guess I could probably just treasure cruise. I don't need channel, mystic... Forest, Frantic Search, Crisis. Uh, let me think about this. Because... Oh, I drew Time Twister. I didn't even think... I didn't see that. Let's just cast Time Twister. Because that draws seven fresh ones. Okay. That's pretty good. So Mox Pearl was better than a land there. Play that. Put out some lands, I guess. I definitely want this. I don't want to go too low. And there's no way for me to upheaval. I'm going to draw a time spiral. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think I'll just go down to 6. Monic Tutor, Emery, Phyrexian Arena, Lotus Bloom, Sheldock. Interesting. They have Brain Freeze? That wouldn't work, but it'd be funny. Oh no, what are you going to get? Okay. I mean, if they just go like, Mox, Frantic Search, Tendrils, I should have stayed at 7. Oh no. I'm just going to die to Tendrils. Oh no. I was just hoping I could kill them that turn, but uh, I don't know. It's just unfortunate that I hit literally no land off of my <laughs> um, memory jar. So this, if this is Tendrils, I die. But we get to know more about their deck. They have Fast Bond as well. But I guess going to 6 didn't matter if they have Tendrils. Okay, so I do die. All right, that was really unfortunate. Um, we're definitely bringing in Plow Under. Eureka seems actually very good against them. Um, Sower's not good. Mind Slaver can also win the game against Storm. You just like force them to do things. What don't I want? Heartbeat of Spring is a liability, but I think I'll be okay. Narset is a huge problem. I don't know. I guess Kozilek's very good with Channel. Like I just have Channel Kozilek. It can win the game very quickly. Um, All these cards are so good. Maybe maybe upheaval is a bit slow. 
because they're not really going to be putting permanents into play. So Plow Wonder is kind of just like a better, easier to cast fast upheaval. And I think Mindslaver is better than upheaval too. Treasure Coups felt very medium on that turn. And it's also kind of awkward. I think I'd rather just have cards that can beat Narset. Repeal, uh, it probably doesn't have that many targets either. Although I guess I can repeal a Narset. Okay, that seems worthwhile. Radix Surge, Time Twister, Heartbeat, Corsair, Yavimaya Elder. My deck is much more consistent than theirs just by my colored mana situation. So I'm pretty confident. Am I running Eureka? <laughs> so if I play Eureka, they can put all their lands into play. Eh, it's probably not good. Yeah, because I don't... Oh, sorry, I just hit my microphone. Um, it's probably not good because, like, let's say I put all these into play, then they just storm combo me. I don't care about any of that. Okay, we won't do that. Brawl, Regrowth, Copter, Gta. I think Upheaval is a little too slow, so we'll just run it. And we'll be very careful about our life total now. Let's go first. These hands have been really medium. I think I can do better than this one. <laughs> what is Magic trying to tell me here? I'm going to keep this, and I'm going to put an island on the bottom because I have um, Nyssa. But this is very unfortunate. I'm leading island because I can repeal, I don't know, a zero mana play. Like Lotus Bloom. So I think we're just going to save repeal for Bloom. This, these draws, man. Okay, Mystic was good. Happy about that one. Go. Yep. So we're, we're digging to Plow Under. They repeal my Elvish Mystic. So I can deny them a card, but I think having my own repeal is more worthwhile. Okay, um, I think given this, I'm just gonna play a Yavimaya Elder. That way if they play Nar- they can't just like tap out for Narset safely, um, because I can pressure them. Yeah, so they get to downtick Narset, see what they hit. And I guess next turn they hit Rectos Signet, okay. I have to decide what I'm doing with my repeal, I guess. Turn about. Well, I can't actually cast that. Uh, no, I can, if I want to. Let's attack Narset. Well, I can't activate her. Let's play Elvish Mystic. I do actually get to draw a card off the repeal, and that seems worth it. So I think I am just going to repeal the Lotus Bloom. If they have exactly Time Twister, they get me, but I don't have much of a hand anyway. All right, let's repeal that. Okay, so they crack it to deny me mana or card draw i guess which is fine because now i can crack yavimaya elder to draw a card if i need to Rexine arena sure um i don't think there's a i guess they could have dismembered i really need to make sure narset dies so we're not going to pop the elder attack narset with everything yeah dismember would cause a problem here so we'll just do that all right narset down good good so i'm gonna crack this get some blue Island. So I have double blue and turnabout. I think I could just keep getting forest because of uh, Nissa who shakes the world. There you go. Um, which I cannot cast this turn. But I can next turn. I don't think they can kill me with just five cards in hand. So we're going to land our elves. And then the plan here is to play Nissa, attack, probably turn about their mana, and then try and go off from there well or if i just draw an eldrazi i can just turn about get infinite mana that way uh the green for fast bond could be a problem i don't care about that okay Ooh, that's good that's pretty good so let's go forest one two three four five for nissa um nissa is going to now i can just turn about myself into factor fiction i think that's probably likely to win so let's go for the win here and go turn about me land untap cast factor fiction using some green pretty good hand <laughs> that's a very good hand um i think i can choose pile one because i can den protector to the turnabout yeah so I get all of this. I can play Heartbeat of Spring. Basically, I want to Den Protector the Turnabout and hit them with it. Hmm. How do I do this? I can hit Channel. Basically, do I try and go off or do I go a turn here? Also, I can just Den Protector Time Spiral. 
One, two, three, four, five. They only have five mana. I think I'm just gonna play a Krasis for eight. Or for six. Draw three cards here. I could hit Channel Emrakul. Channel Plow Under. Um, fortunately, that doesn't work. Yeah. That only taps for two. Okay. So next turn, if they don't kill me this turn, they just die. And I'm at 23, which makes their storm combo much harder to kill me. Brain Freeze doesn't work. I think I... I don't know. I probably should have gone for Dent Protector turn about their lands. Because if this is Fast Bond, I might be in trouble. Yeah. But in order to make Dent Protector turn about their lands work, I would have needed to cast Heartbeat of Spring. And then if they just, like, go Forest Fast Bond, I'm in trouble. Okay, well, it's not a Time Spiral. I don't even think bribery would do it anymore. Yeah, they're... Oh, wow, they're very desperate. All right, we can win this. Easy. Uh, well, maybe not, because they draw off looter. Right. Okay, yeah, I was thinking they were just hoping to hit draw step, but I guess if they, like, Dark Ritual Mind's Desire, they get a storm count of two. All right, we're praying for nothing too crazy. Ooh, Cabal Ritual is really scary, actually. They even hit Threshold from the looter. Oh, okay. All right, deck, we need them to whip. They only get three, I think. Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> they hit the Citadel! Oh, God. Oh, no. All right, well, we'll see what Citadel does, I guess. And they get to Citadel and Emery, too, which is, like, scary. I can refresh the Citadel. They have fast bond Bolus' Citadel as well. All right, Emery milled High Tide Spellseeker, two cards that don't matter. We could just die. That was a very, yeah. I, I think, yeah, they needed to hit Mind's Desire into Citadel there to win, and they did. Yep, okay. So we don't die to Tendrils. If they have Yawgmoth's Will, though, I think we just deterministically die. Also, they hit Tendrils, literally the last possible card they could before they would die casting it, which is very frustrating. I might just lose to Yogg Will if they have it. Okay. Well, they can't Memory Jar, because they would deck themselves. Dark Petition. Man, the hit Tendrils is the last possible card they could have. So we'll see if they have Yogg Will. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think they do because they're playing lands. Can they bolus this Citadel me is now the thing I'm concerned about. This is 10 non-land permanents, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I really want to get a game 3. This is an interesting matchup. And it would be unfortunate to lose to the Mind's Desire hit. Oh. Alright, well, we're just dead. Man, that sucks! Alright, see you guys next round. Yeah, it's... I, I appreciate their deck. I, I like that they have the storm deck and it went off. It's just unfortunate because this is like <laughs> the best, probably the best deck I've ever had and it should be favored. I think it's possible I could have won if I had gone for the turn about their lands avenue. I mean, they needed to draw extremely lucky to go off from that position and they did. I mean, that's what storm does. Just unfortunate. Deck is sweet though from them. See you guys next round. All right, we are playing against Darzin. We're on the draw and I'm going to keep this hand. I have actually quite a few good draws. Um, Elvish Mystic. Alright, playing against green I feel very safe. Here's where Mark's Pearl, if it was a forest, would have been better. Although, Mystic is pretty nice. I don't think I want to play Mark's Pearl. Don't want to expose it. Um, any other green source I can channel for finale and then kill them. Okay, they have a Gruul Signet. Yeah, because I need quadruple green to make finale work. All of Roots. Cool. No! What? It's too much. It's too much. All right, Forest, Palancron. I see. Um, I can channel with a single green that doesn't really get me anywhere. All right, I'm just hoping, I guess. Yeah, so here's why I was considering cutting Mox Pearl. It really does nothing here, and the forest would be very, very good. We'll see what this is. Just another Signet. What's the last card in their hand? Huntmaster. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Yep, that happens. Okay. So, I mean, I'm still live to draw an Eldrazi and things of that nature. Or Forest. Man, that was a clutch slime. All right, but they're Hellbent, so I have quite a bit of time now. 
well, assumedly, they can, there's a lot of things they could just draw that kill me, but any green source off the top kills them. What is this? <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, I have to cast channel, so green source or bust. If I, yeah, if I don't cast channel, they're just going to kill me, so green source. Green, uh, does that do it? I mean, I have to cast channel, so that's double green, but then I can't even cast Yavamaya Elder. That's so unfortunate. But at least they really can't do much. They can kill my Elvish Mystic. It, yeah, this not being a forest has cost me... It might cost me the entire game. So I can play the Elder and it doesn't do anything. But yeah, I just need to play this, I guess. Because they can just kill me otherwise. So channel for literally no value. And play Mox Pearl. Can't do anything past turn. So they Mind Slaver me. Right now they can just fail to find off Finale. Which is not that bad. So they, they fail the final finale and then they kill my they true dryad, okay. Um, and then they kill my elvish mystic by attacking into dryad. I wonder if I was supposed to block just to limit their access to mana. A little late there, sir. Well, they didn't kill my elvish mystic. They get to see how dope my deck is. Come on, deck. I need my opponent to whiff just one time. They put a crisis in the graveyard, which... Kind of would prefer. They don't play land. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm okay with them not killing my elf. I needed that mana. Because now I can play and activate Yavamaya Elder. Get two islands. Stop drawing action! You can't you can't keep doing this. Okay, they're sacking their food. What is this? <laughs> no! Come on! Oh my god. Alright, we're dead. You drew Crater Hoof, and it's exactly lethal. All right, we can win this though. Game two, we got this. I'm keeping the Mox. I want the Jite, I think, because it kills a lot of their creatures. Um, upheaval is okay. Yeah, upheaval's fine, I think. Time for all factor fiction turnabout. All these cards are very good. I'm just trying to decide what to cut on the play. Probably treasure cruise. I'm not going to put too many cards in my graveyard, but GTA just gives me a way to kill their creatures. Uh, maybe I want Sower of Temptation? No, I think we're okay. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to win. I'm going to win a game here. Uh, this hand is really slow. I mean, it has... Ah, it's too slow. We got a mulligan. Honestly, what is going on? So, I can play Elvish Mystic, but no, this hand's terrible. Well, no. I'm running like 17 mana sources. Okay, this hand's actually good. I'll keep this. Um, we will get rid of an island because we're just going to... Oh, I mulligan... Oh, no. All right, get rid of Time Spiral. But we're just going to channel out a Hydroid Crisis on turn... Oh, I need another green source, actually. So if I draw the Mox, I'm going to scream. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting there. Green, green, green. Then we channel a Crisis and then use the Crisis life that we've gained to play something. Yep, take a hit, makes sense. So yeah, channel, they don't even attack, I like that. Nissa. so we're not gonna play Nissa, and I don't wanna let them Acidic Slime my Hydroid Crisis, or my Island, so we're gonna play another Forest. Cause right now if I channel, I just have green, I need green blue. Please don't be Acidic Slime. Come on, no! Okay, well, I mean, I could still always draw Emrakul or the other Eldrazi and get there. Or another forest. Upheaval. Alright, I mean, I literally have no castable cards. So, that'll do it, I guess. But, Emrakul off the top, we're golden. For, I think, just this one turn. Otherwise, they're going to slime, and that'll limit my mana. Or, it'll get my life total too low to cast Emrakul. So, forest. Then protector. God, this is slow. Um, alright. Cast a face down den protector. Go. I've never seen an acidic slime be so useful against a green deck before. They pay life, which they should. Um, they're actually close to Crater Hoof, which is very unfortunate. What is this much mana? Green Suns for prime time. Hopefully. I don't know why I'm hoping that it's a prime time, but. Oh. Why did they do for six if they're just getting Wall of Roots? I mean, I take it. Because 13 puts me down to 14. 
So this actually puts Channel Emrakul off the table if I don't block, right? Because I take 3, I fall down to 14, and then if I draw Emrakul, I can channel, but I would die exactly to cast an Emrakul. But I think it, in gen like, against all other things, it's better for me to not block here, because I get my forest back. So here's where I draw Emrakul off the top now. You know, it's 1 in 31. I think it's very unlikely. Alright, no... Okay, Palancron is double blue. This is... Oh my gosh. I need another turn. <laughs> oh, this is the worst. So, I can morph this. But, let me think about this. I can cast Channel, but then I can't morph. So, yeah. I have to morph this. Get back my forest. Not die next turn. Play forest, and then... I don't even have that much hope, right? I'm just channeling a crisis with very little life total at this point. <laughs> it's interesting they used Green Sun Zenith for 6, but then just got a wall of roots. Okay, they're down to 12. No, guys, Cradle! Uh-oh. If they go Deranged Hermit into Crater Hoof, I'm gonna just... Oh, man, that's gonna be sad. Or Natural Order, I guess, could do it too. No. One of you really scaring me. No! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Sometimes the game does not want you to play magic. Sure. I mean, I trade off here. I'm not gonna take any more damage, but I, I'm just dead. I'm actually just dead. <laughs> I dropped you. Oh! Ah! Oh, this is the worst. Alright, I mean... I cannot channel anything, so we'll just play this Jite, which I'm trying to remember what I cut for Jite. Um, I don't think it would have been relevant. I'm actually just dead, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I'm losing. This is what hap This is why I don't draft blue-green channel Emrakul decks. All right, we're going into the finals of the losers bracket. I have not won a single game <laughs> with this deck. All right, we'll see you guys there. All right, I'm going to win a game. That's all I want. I just want to win one game of Magic. Um, This hand is really bad, actually. Maybe this deck is not good. I don't... Maybe I'm just... This hand is... I could do better. Maybe this deck is bad, actually. Put back an island? I don't know. Like, I have everything you would want, but... Colored mana has been an issue, that's for sure. Um, so that's one thing we could improve on. Well, at least I have Corsair of Crufix against red, but they have Soul Scar Mage. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm gonna win a single game of Magic. The thing is, it's mostly been mana screw, and I'm running like an, a large amount of mana sources plus card draw. So you would think, you would think I'd be okay. I'm very tempted to just slam this Heartbeat of Spring, especially because they're red-green things. If I don't draw a green source, I might just cast this. Yep. We're just casting this. I know they're mono-red and they can do scary things, but I think the things that I can do are scarier. We have Frantic Search and Turnabout. So, I guess we'll see mono-red with six mana what they can do. I'm hoping it's just a couple Lightning Bolts and not like a Thunder Maw or something. Bloodbraid Elf. And is it Signet? I can work with that. Bloodbraid Elf is really good. It's a card I don't see played in cube a lot. Oh, that triggers prowess too. That's fun. Um, but it's a card that needs to see more play in cube, I think. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. They didn't have a follow-up. And I draw a breeding pool and I... Ay, ay, ay. Um, I think we're going to go Nissa into Corsair. This is 6, so that can be 8 mana. Yeah, so I'm not going to cast Kozilek like this turn, but I can go Nyssa. Um, untap. Use that to cast Corsair of Crufix. Play Forest off the top to gain some life. Draw Fast Bond. That's only 4 mana, so I'm 1 short of Memory Jar. So we pass turn. I'm at 13. It's hard to imagine dying from here, but it's definitely possible. I think Zealous Conscripts would go a long way. Flame slash my Corsair. Okay. There goes the fast bond combos. Eternal Witness getting back. Probably Flame Slash, potentially Windswept Heat. 
Oh, and then they flame slap. Ooh. And then they kill Nissa. Good lord. <laughs> it's a good draw. I mean, this is what happens when you give your opponent infinite mana, too. Um, so they kill Nissa. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm actually short of Kozilek mana. And I'm drawing Fast Bond, which will help with Memory Jar. So I think this turn we're just going to go Breeding Pool, Untap, Fast Bond, Memory Jar, and hope to hit a Frantic Search or Turnabout and then go off from there. Unless I die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh. Am I dead? <laughs> no. 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 Wait, no, I'm not dead. But I cannot play Breeding Pool untapped now if they attack me. But I guess then they're not killing Nissa. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. They could put me to two. All right. We still have a shot. I think I prefer them to kill Nissa because then I can use Fast Bond mana, which will be greater. Okay. Okay, I can work with this. I am very close to dead. Let's see if I can win from here. Down to nine. Let's go ahead and go fast bond. And then I have, yeah, I have enough mana to do that. Fast bond, breeding pool untapped. Up here, let's play memory jar. And I just want to have, uh, let me think about this actually. So that's five and I just have blue mana available if I do that. But I don't think there's any green cards I want. So yeah, let's just play memory jar and have blue mana up. See what we can hit. Come on, deck. Okay. That should do it. Let's go land. Get mana, whatever. Um, land. Go down even more. They have seven cards in hand, and one could definitely be Lightning Bolt. So I don't think I can do, like, upheaval and then replay everything, because they could just go, like, land, Lightning Bolt, kill me. Can I even play around Lightning Bolt? I'll play another island here. Down to four life. Then I think I'm going to Time Spiral. Yeah, I don't want to go down... I could play land and get more Time Spiral stuff, but I don't want to go down too low in life. Nissa, Turnabout, Repeal. Okay, so... Do that. We have an obscene amount of mana here. Let's play Nissa. This is what the deck is supposed to do. Um, then let's Turnabout... I don't even need to Turnabout myself, I don't think. Let's play a... Yavamaya Elder and crack it to draw a card. So we're really just trying to hit an Emrakul here. Let's get two forests. Den Protector. Okay. Um, I think at this point I have plenty of mana, so we're gonna turn about myself. And untap. Then we're going to Den Protector face down. And Den Protector is going to get back. Turnabout or repeal? Well, I want to repeal the Den Protector. Yeah, so let's turn this face up. I don't think I can just go infinite repealing the Den Protector, but I can get back Turnabout. Or Elder can draw one extra card, because I'm really just going to draw an Emrakul at this point, I think. Yeah, let's get Elder. Play and crack Elder just to get rid of all the lands out of our deck. All right, get that and that. All right, draw action. Time Twister is fantastic. So now we can repeal the Den Protector. Um, Nissa will untap, I guess Breeding Pool makes more sense. So tap this for blue. Nissa will untap Breeding Pool. I think I might have to play a land. So we, we would die to Lightning Bolt in this situation because this costs, uh, maybe not. Let's face down one, two, three. I have six mana, so I can do it exactly. So yeah, I just don't have to play into something. Turn this face up. We're going to get turnabout. Okay. Turnabout, me, land, untap. Um, thought I had more mana. All right, I'm going to play land. I messed up. I should have gotten more, but now I think I need to go down to two. Because I didn't realize I couldn't cast Emrakul doing it the other way. So let's cast Time Twister now. Ooh, actually, Upheaval into Time Twister? Wait a second. We can go Upheaval. Yeah, this might work, actually. Okay. So now we can cast this. We actually won that game. It was actually not going to be easy. Um, I think I wasted a lot of mana playing around them having Lightning Bolt when they didn't. But I was going to like loop upheaval den protector. What was I going to draw? Because it, it, it was actually not an easy win from there. Oh, Courser, right? I have Courser fast bond. 
So I would just play Corsair, play Fast Bond, and then I could play all my lands and then win from there. That would have been awesome. That was actually going to be a really fun going off turn. Okay, well, we won a game. <laughs> I accomplished my goal. We're playing against Mono Red. So what do we want against Mono Red? I think we're actually quite like favored against them because we just kill them. Carnage Tyrant is something I'm interested in. It's probably better than... No, because I have Corsair Fast Bond. Upheaval is pretty good. I'm just going to keep this hand. Maybe I'll be able to keep a seven, line, seven card hand. Nope. <laughs> Why? What did I do? I don't know. We're mulliganing though. God, these hands. All right, I'm going to keep this. We're going to get rid of something. I don't know what. So if I... How many lands do I need to go off with Palancron? Right now I have Nyssa. So I can go turn one... Elvish Mystic, turn two Heartbeat of Spring, and then cast Nyssa. Man, this hand really needs all seven. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of Nyssa, right? Because that's three. Yeah, we'll get rid of Nyssa. It's unfortunate. I, like She would be very good to have here, but I think most of our wins involve Heartbeat of Spring. They have a Mox Sapphire. Spooky. Simic Signet, sure. Okay, there's a the land, so... Untap Forest, Elvish Mystic. Also, I just realized this is a weird start to see from what I saw from their deck last time. You don't usually see like a Soul Scar Mage Signet deck with forests, but I suppose I am in the O2 bracket. So, how many lands do I need to go infinite with Palancron Heartbeat? It costs seven to cast. They're just running out Eternal Witness. Okay. This is not the same deck I saw at all from them last time. Um, so we could just play Breeding Pool tapped and pass, or I could just jam Heartbeat of Spring, they only have three cards in hand. I don't know what's going on over there. I'm gonna play it a little safe. I don't know, the, the, the Eternal Witness Islands strategy is freaking me out. They can feel the ruin my Breeding Pool, which they're activating immediately. What? <laughs> this game, like, this isn't even good for them, really, but it's just... It's just indicative of the things that are going on in the games that in the games in this match. Huh. Um sure, I'll take an island. Here's where they flame slash my mystic and then I don't have any colored mana anymore. Yep. I put you on the bottom, Nissa. Uh we're just gonna factor fiction. Very confused by their deck and mana base, but uh, if they acidic slime me then <laughs> Oh god. Okay, Bloodbraid Elf I'm okay with. Into Oko. Okay. So Oko can stop Emrakul if it ever gets to that. That makes sense. Make it a 3-3. Three, three. So I take 6. Holy cow. I wonder if I was just supposed to jam Heartbeat of Spring. Because I'm down to 12 and I'm about to take 9 damage next turn. Well, let's see what this hits. No land. I'm running 16 land! <laughs> oh, I guess they killed one. That's still ridiculous. I don't really want any of these, to be honest. Like, I just want lands. Time Twister, Time Spiral. So if I go Heartbeat of Spring... Well, they put all the good cards in one pile, so I'll take those. And the other cards shuffle back, so it's not even that bad. And I get a land shuffling back, and I draw a land. Okay. So... I can play Corsair, but that doesn't do a whole lot. I think my best bet is probably play Nissa and attack Oko. That seems good to me. And I'm going to attack Oko with an island. Because I'd rather lose an island, I think. I don't even know. Like, it's very hard to tell. But I think next turn I can go infinite if they don't kill me. Or Nissa. Because this is 1 2. So I'm going to go Elvish Mystic and Forest to play Heartbeat of Spring. And then I can get 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 mana. And my land's in total tap for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if I draw any land, I get 12, and this costs 11. So if I can get any land, I can go infinite with Palancron if everything stays in play. All right, they activate Fumeral. They do that. So they can force a block. So I guess I don't go infinite. Me, Nissa, Nissa, Nissa. That was a good attack. Um, I'm just going to take it. There's no way to keep Nissa alive. 
I get to kill Oko, and this has Vigilance. So we really want to draw land, I think. Den Protector. Okay. Um, I get to kill Oko. We'll start there. Then we're going to play Corsair of Crufix, because it can block the 3-3 and hopefully hit a land off top. There we go. And I'm drawing a land next turn. So we pass turn. Met 12, which is a relatively healthy life total, and... One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So next turn I can go Heartbeat of Spring into Palancron into Time Spiral if I need to. Holy cow. <laughs> Seasoned Power Mancer Eternal Witness. They did not Reclamation Sage my Corsair, which is interesting. They attack with Bloodbraid? Okay, well that's a good easy block for me here. Um, I'll just take six. And I think... I think we might be doing it, so let's go Island, gain a life. I can also go off with Fast Bond Courser, so play Heartbeat of Spring. Yeah, and that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah. Okay, that should generate a ton of mana. Green, play this guy. No, they didn't even, ah, uh, they didn't even let me go off. This was, man, I think this was the most frustrating matches of Magic I've played in a very long time. <laughs> I, oh two oh two two oh like round three opponent just conceded before anything happened and then these opponents i just didn't get to play i think this deck was fantastic but high variance and that's <laughs> that's why i don't like playing channel like this was the one of the better channel decks you could hope for and i just got obliterated <laughs> oh man that was frustrating well I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm trying to think. I honestly think it might have been correct to just not run Mox Pearl. So, yeah, I mean, I would have won game two, or round two at least, if I didn't run Mox Pearl. If this was a forest, I would have been able to channel for Finale and kill them. But they just locked me off mana for too long, both games. So, I think my biggest complaint is running Mox Pearl instead of a forest actually lost me round two. But for the rest of it, I mean, this deck was absurd. It needed a couple more elves, maybe, but maybe not. Yeah, I'm not really sure. It was just a cool deck. See you guys next time.